the developing world is going to leapfrog every other digital technology and we're all going to meet in the palm of the hand. Young people who are coming of age today, all they want to do is be connected. Being connected to information and the connection to people. And that constant sense of connection is both empowering and utterly confusing. Generation K is living in anxiety, but on the other hand, shows a lot of compassion. But people mistake compassion with empathy. We are creatures that are meant to talk and are meant to develop empathy with each other when we do. College students show a 40% decline in every way we know how to measure empathy in the past 20 years. There's nothing wrong with our devices, but the way we're using them is hurting empathy, intimacy, and in the workplace, significant collaboration and creativity. I think more and more companies are realizing that they're paying a price for the empathy gap. We are ready to witness the rebirth of the physical world. People are going to start thinking about, do I really want to sit here behind a computer screen making friends or do I want to make some real friends? The human strikes back to say, actually I don't need 600 friends, six good friends is fine. The trick here is to step back, to recognize that we're not in a virtuous circle, we're in a vicious circle, and to design for our vulnerability to this technology we can create these places for conversation and business. We can create work cultures where it's not going to be rewarded to sit in your office and be the pilot in the cockpit. One of the concerns with social media is the sheer disposability of human experience. Something happens, it's gone in an instant. Humanity will probably start hungering for a degree of permanence, a degree of something that lasts a little bit longer. I think humanity fundamentally is a lot stronger than digital media.